Um, so my opinion on tech and the existence of phones and how yeah. it's almost negated our ability to socialize, yeah. uh, I think it's one of the one of the worst things about our phones. I think our phones should be used as tools. Yeah, it should be a means to an end for your own goals. They shouldn't be something that are like social pacifiers or not so digital pacifiers yeah. um, that like supplement your need for connection through technology. Yeah, I think. Um, one of the things I want to work on, which is this startup idea that I have, is using technology specifically to help facilitate uh, talking to strangers. Wow. Be that in a different context. It can be with friends. It can be with in a dating capacity. That's, that's I think, going to be the focus first is because uh, I believe in meeting someone organically, personally. Uh, I think a lot of people, there's a market for that. Um, but I think tech has taken away from our ability to socialize with others, which is... And it's become accepted. And some, some people are like, that's okay. Um, or if you're not comfortable talking to, or like, it comes in my classes. In some of my classes, some of the teachers are okay with you not participating in like an activity if you don't feel comfortable, if you're like a little mm -hmm. anxious that day. It's like, yeah. it's become acceptable. Yeah. Where I don't think you should treat it as something that's acceptable. You should strive for more, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but... That's something that I'm working on is specifically talking to strangers and using technology to facilitate it instead of using technology to supplement it. Do you have any specific idea that you can share here? Or is it yeah, yeah, I can share it. Um, I'm going to start building in public within like a month or so. Yeah. Uh, actually, once I graduate, I'll take a month off. And then after that, I'll start building in public. I'll be doing daily um, updates on yeah. probably short form. But it's like this. Before you went to creator camp or before you met your first creator friend, yeah. you were alone grinding by yourself. You didn't have anybody else who understood you yeah. and your motivation for building mm. a YouTube channel or anything. And you had to seek that. You had to seek that community. Yeah. But imagine you could just live your daily life and without talking to people, you could just be notified of, hey, you just passed by somebody in the grocery store. And, oh, by the way, they're also an aspiring content creator and they do a podcast too. They've talked to this person. Oh, wow. So it just be a facilitator. So instead of having, it's like, it's like the camera. This is a really like, interesting idea. It's like a digital camera. So when I was in Austin, yeah. I hung out with some guys and we all had our cameras and we had this guy come up to us and yeah. strike a conversation up because we had cameras. Yeah. Right? That's the, that's like the, the facilitator. But imagine if you could just have something built into your phone, built into your smart glasses, built into your smart watch, whatever's coming, which yeah. is wearable technology and incorporating with AI. Imagine if you could always just have something on that's always aware of people who are also signed up for this app, this service, and it can remind you or show you or let you know when somebody's around you who you would probably have a great conversation with. So the thing that you could talk about for hours, imagine if you could pass by somebody and it's, then it would notify you that you just passed by somebody who could also talk about the same thing for hours and there's a new friend. So let me try repeating your idea back to you. Yeah. So essentially it, it would be some sort of app that would integrate with wearable technology or, or maybe not an app but it would use geolocation so you would maybe put your interest or what you're pursuing or what you're you like and it would use geolocation so that if you got near someone who had like i call it a relationship pill pillar so if i i'm into content creation you're into content creation that's a relationship builder we can we can build on so it would have you would insert your relationship pill pillars into this app and if you walk by someone in a certain geolocation and they had a similar relationship pillar, it would notify you. Both of you. Bro, that is, I've heard ideas for people. A lot of people want to uh, help with connection right now because it's such a big struggle. Loneliness epidemic. And uh, actually, part of the reason my podcast is about relationships is because I asked myself, what what is something that's not getting better with AI? Loneliness is going up, depression, mental health. So I try to be in this space as well as you. I think it's a great space to be in because it's not, it doesn't look like it's getting solved by AI right now. You know what's going to come with AI? But, it's going to be more supplementation. Yeah. You have a loneliness epidemic with um, specifically younger men yeah. who are receding to video games, um, prawn. I don't know if I can say it yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. Um, and just technology yeah. and you're going to have even more of that when you can just pay a $5 subscription. You can have an AI girlfriend that, that, like, no, that already it's, happens. It's already, it's already being made. And it's a massive market. Yeah. So much money can be made off of it. So it's, but there's not going to be, I don't, yeah, I haven't found anything that's going to facilitate the in-person yeah. connection. Yeah. I have a whole theory as to why I can't recreate love, but um, 
I mean, just to explain really simply, uh, if, if I said, I'm going to force this girl to love me and I did whatever I had full, full reign, like I could lock her in my house. I could, uh, text her every day, write her letters. Would she love me? Saying, no, she wouldn't love you. Uh, first of all, that's a crime. But second of all, she wouldn't love you. And we say, okay, well, why would she love you? Because love has to be a choice. So she can't love me if she doesn't have free will. And AI doesn't have free will, so therefore it can't, it can't show you love. Um, that's that explanation. Yeah. But I've, I've heard people say, have ideas similar to you, but it's like, it's almost like an in-person Reddit. So you join a forum for... Uh, I like chess and then it, it then the forum will kind of guide you to like meeting spots but many people have tried based. formats of that and it hasn't worked but this geolocation it's passive I mean, think about it you put it on if you want to yeah. be pained if you're nearby somebody or think about it the the initial spark was not this idea it was the dating idea so the main problem in the dating marketplace right now is if you don't like dating apps, yeah. well, then your alternative is bars and clubs, right? Yeah. That's what most people think of. Yeah, you're you're right. not going to find your like wife or husband I, at bar and club. So what do you do? Okay, you look lost. It was a meme on TikTok. I'm going to look lost in Barnes & Noble and hopefully a guy approaches me. Yeah. So then, but girls don't want to approach guys and guys are afraid to approach girls because they don't want to be filmed on TikTok like, yeah. like, like the other gym TikTok yeah. track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want to come across as creepy. Yeah. Plus, social rejection is scary when you're talking yeah. to women, you know. So you just, you literally need like, you need to go back in time and have like a handkerchief drop. So yeah. what if you could just have a virtual handkerchief drop? What if you press oh. it on and you're just, you're, in, you're sitting in the coffee shop and- This is a good idea, bro. I gotta <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> you're sitting in the coffee shop, right? Yeah. Um, you're a guy and you're just doing your, your whatever work and yeah. you just get a notification and it's your, your AI, your AI assist, dating assistant. And um, he's like, hey, Jack, uh, there was a girl who just walked in the coffee shop she's single oh by the way she also likes a lot of the same books as you yeah you might be able to talk about that so you have something to talk about and you know that she's single and looking for something and at the same time she gets a similar notification yeah and then boom you have and you also know because stuff. hers is open that she's probably open to being exactly to. exactly wow. so it solves the approach anxiety factor wow and it also solves the some depending on the women some women who are really conventionally attractive that i've talked to they get approached all the time yeah. but from most people that I've seen, even women who I would consider like mm. very attractive, they like never, they want to meet someone organically, but they never meet somebody, no one, no one ever like approaches them in person. It's like once a month, once every two months. Or it's only at bars, bars. or parties. And they yeah. don't want that. And they don't want. So it solves that too. Yeah. Wow, dude, that's a really good idea. I always, we'll, we'll stop this in a couple minutes. Sorry. No. I, I always tell people, I always like to explain an idea back to, back to someone. That's a really good practice. It. If if you can't explain the idea to me, then how are you going to get people on the internet to rally behind it? But that was so well elaborated and explained. I see the vision. Like right now, I can see the vision. I mean, there's going to be a struggle for sure to get a like a, a good enough users on in the beginning. You'll probably have to launch it by city or by campus. Yeah, it's a, it's a two-sided market launch. It, it's going to be very difficult. Um, yeah. But I believe in that idea. That is an absolutely incredible incredible idea like i i totally see it oh um, was there one more thing i wanted to say about it i can't think but dude that is a really good idea thank you yeah i'm excited to work on it i am going to pre-order these smart glasses that have the ability to like develop for them you yeah. can develop to the the glasses and i want to get a baseline functionality version of it going sometime hopefully by the end of the summer i'll have something to show for it wow dude that's i hope that i can be one of the first users yeah, we'll see uh, what it looks like. We'll see. see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Well, what that? What was the trend you were talking about? TikTok trends. Uh, TikTok trends that um, reinforce people not wanting to talk. Oh to yeah. That's one of the ones talking to girls. That's like a yeah. whole. That's a whole thing. Now people are worried they're gonna get freaking. They're already scared to talk to their crush, and now they're worried they're going to get caught on camera and yeah. publicly and, shamed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which was is not good, but... Yeah. Uh, sometimes even the ones I've seen, it's like... I think oh. almost all of them have been just regular yeah. interactions. Like, it's just a genuine, yeah. hey, I think yeah. you're pretty... I found... I, I remember what I want to say. Yeah. This is the last thing I kind of want to just put a wrap on all we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say this episode is about talking to strangers. Every... Whenever you think about talking to a stranger and you want to talk to a stranger, 
and you can't bring yourself to do it or you're embarrassed or you're shy or you think it's going to go wrong, ask yourself, would you want a stranger to come up and talk to you? Because I do this and almost every time I'm like, I would love if that beautiful girl walked up and talked to me. So why wouldn't she love if you went up and talked to her? Or I would love if this entrepreneur guy came up and started a conversation with me. So why won't you go and say, chances are you, you never know a hundred percent how someone will, re will react or how it will go, but chances are you are the best indicator. So if, if you'd want it to happen to you, they probably want it to happen to them. Treat others the way you want it to be treated. It's a little, the golden rule. Yep. Um, I agree a hundred percent. And I, I, I found as someone who's talked to in person, virtually yeah. interviewed like thousands of strangers, and just cold approached with a camera, without a yeah. camera. If you approach with good intentions and being genuine yeah. and kind, you're, I've m had like one or two interactions that were negative. Yeah. And the only reason was because they thought I was interviewing them for like out of pocket questions. Yeah. That's the only reason out of all of them. If you approach it from a good space, it's, it's always a, uh, Try and be as open, yeah. as exciting as possible, as positive as possible. So it's not gonna go bad.